Okay, in our study today, we're going to continue to talk about the fact is, are you righteous? And when when does someone become righteous? Do uh, Is it after you die that you become righteous? You know, the Bible says that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. If you're born again and you have the Spirit, if you uh, have received eternal life, then you're the righteous one the Scripture is talking about. Now, righteous doesn't mean a code of conduct or a behavior. It's The word actually means to be in right standing uh, with our Creator. In other words, you're justified because you have been made new. You're born. If you're born again, that means you are a new creature in Messiah. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new. The Scripture says that as He is, talking about Messiah, so are we in this world. Uh, in this study, it's my purpose to, to help you to understand that if you, like I said, if you have received uh, the Messiah as your Savior and um, you have not just experienced forgiveness of sins, even though forgiveness of sins is, is part of it, but you've actually become a new creature in Christ or in Messiah, in Mashiach. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Messiah, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Notice it doesn't say all things will become new. No, all things have become new. Now, you have to understand that uh, the Apostle Paul is speaking about the inner man, the man on the inside, the new man which is created in righteousness and true holiness. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 24, Paul said, Put on the new man. In other words, let this new man uh, be on display. Uh, put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Notice the word Paul uses here. He says, you're created in Christ. You, of course, your King James says Christ Jesus. But uh, we know that the Messiah's name in Hebrew is Yahusha. That's, that's the name that I use on this channel because that's the name he was called uh, when he walked on the earth. And, of course, he uh, identified himself with the Father, whose name is Yahuwah. He said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. He and the Father are one. In fact, he and the Father are the same. The Father became a man. He became um, uh, our Messiah, our Mashiach to die for our sins. He paid the price so you can make, be made whole. And uh, so when you understand that you're not just a forgiven sinner, but that you are a new creature in Messiah. Now, again, I've, I've shared this shared with you, but we're waiting for the adoption to be complete, the redemption of our body. Our body is still still in its fallen state. You still have tendencies to do things that are not right or sin or whatever. But in the reality, the, the real you on the inside has already been, uh, is complete in him. Uh, Colossians chapter 2 verse 10 says, you're complete in him. And again, that means there's nothing else that be, needs to be done. If you're complete, you're complete. So in him, in Messiah, I'm already that way. Now this is going to cause your, uh, you to be more confident. The Bible says the, the righteous if you understand you're the righteous ones just speaking about, the righteous are bold as a lion. And the more that you understand your righteousness, that you are right with your father, and that he sees you as already perfected and already holy in his sight. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10 says, For by one offering, talking about the Messiah's offering, for by one offering has he perfected forever those who are sanctified or set apart. See, our redemption is complete. We're complete in him. It's already done. It's a settled fact. We're just waiting for the rest of it to take place, which is the redemption of our body. When this mortal shall have put on immortality. And uh, so that will happen at the rapture. The rapture of, of the church of all true believers, whether you're a Jew or Gentile, if you've been born again by the set-apart spirit, um, the redemption of our bodies will take place at that time. We'll pick this up on our next video, so thank you for watching. Please share this with others, and until next time, shalom.